so let's take a look at this problem. Here we want to solve for g, but you kind of notice that the, the g is the, the denominator of the fractions. In order to get that, actually to solve for that g, we need to move that up to the numerator. So in order to do that, you need to multiply by the common denominator to get rid of the fractions. And the common denominator is basically just going to multiply them both together. So it's going to be g minus 4 times g minus 2. Alright, so if you do that, you're going to have g minus 4 times g minus 2 times 4 divided by g minus 4 minus a common denominator g minus 4 times g minus 2 times 1 over g minus 2. Now remember our goal was to get rid of the fractions so we won't have uh, g on the bottom. Look here in the first case here, the g minus 4 is going to cancel out leaving us with 4 times g minus 2. Over here, the g minus 2 is going to cancel out, leaving us with g minus 4. Alright, so let's multiply this out. 4 times g minus 4. 4 times g is 4g. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Negative 1 times g is negative 1g. Negative 1 times negative 4 is positive 4. Alright, so let's combine like terms. 4g minus 1g is 3g. Negative, negative 8 plus 4 is negative 4. So let's isolate g by adding 4 to both sides. So 3g equals 4. Now we need to divide both sides by 3. We get g by itself. So g equals 4 thirds. So when you receive the variable on in the denominator, you need to multiply by the common denominator and get it out of here and up to the numerator so we can solve it.